What's up guys, this is your boy Rusian and this is a Raid Shadow Legends video. So, if you guys uh, are new on that series, uh, I'm running for the whole month a no chart opening. What it means, it's a free to play account, brand new account, and I'm not opening any shards besides mystery shards for a whole month. Now, what does that mean? The only way for me to be able to get champions is using promo codes, uh, logging champions, or, you know, mythical charts. So, as of right now, we just got a nice announcement that we are getting a brand new champion, Ratalos Blade Master, and this dude looks amazing. I mean, it's been better covered by uh, other content creators, but pretty much, like, this dude has multiple attacks, uh, attack one uh, spirit trust attack one enemy has 50% chance of placing a 60% decrease defense and if that's a boss it cannot be resisted so this dude is like a boss killer or that's a plan everything gonna else depends on the multipliers again by the way my voice is wrecked I just got the test today I do not have COVID what is a great thing thank God uh, but I'm still sick so I apologize for that. Anyway, Spirit Stab Slash attacks one enemy every second. Use of this skill in a round will attack all enemies instead. Will also ignore 25% of the target's defense. If the target's a boss, we ignore 100%. Overhead Slash attacks all enemies before attacking, place a 30% increased critical damage buff and a 30% increased speed buff in this champ for two turns. And Ratalos Mastery inflicts 50% more damage again. Targets under HP burn debuffs receives 25 less from HP and F5 skill used by this champion deals 200% more damage. This, like I said, it's gonna be great for the account. Uh, my guess it probably gonna start on Thursday. From experience, that's how it usually do, uh, how it usually goes. Thursday is like that reset. Every time they drop a login champion, that's usually the day. So, now looking at how things are going to count. I'm about to reach um, Gold 1, the arena. Now, I'm not saying, um, you know, I, I have to really pick the teams I'm going against. I'm not like picking just teams that are like one champion but I have to be careful and at least keep around the same team power as me but it's not being so bad um, yeah I should be reaching that pretty much like in this fight or the next but yeah so far so good now one thing because of uh, the new champions coming up I decided that in the end of the month, I will open all my charts in the first event they have, so I have more chance to get better champions. Then I'm going to wait about another month, until about February 27th, because that's going to be the cutoff of all those new champions coming to the game, and they're probably going to disappear for good after that. So, it's going to be a little less than a month the next time, but then after that, i going to hold for three entire months. So no charts being open for three entire months. And after that, my plan is probably a six months on hold, not opening any charts, just getting whatever comes my way. Anyway, guys, I just want to update you. Uh, I did something crazy. I actually applied for uh, the whole free to play, uh, to play competition uh, with Hell Hades. I'm too small, probably not to get me invited, but even if I don't do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a free to play account that's going to follow all the rules. Uh, and I invite you guys to fo follow along and let me know how far you guys get in the game. All right, guys, thank you very much for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the game.